Chinese President Xi Jinping proposed a global development initiative to the United Nations General Assembly via video link in September. The plan charts the course for global growth and international cooperation. Over the past year, President Xi attended a series of international meetings on key issues such as global governance, the fight against the pandemic, economic recovery, and climate change. She said China is committed to world peace and security, practices genuine multilateralism, and looks to build a community with a shared future for mankind. The Omicron variant has been reported in well over 100 countries and regions. The WHO says more than 8 billion vaccine doses have been administered globally as of December 22nd. But there's severe inequity in distribution between rich and poor countries. China has blamed some countries for politicizing the origin tracing of COVID. China has supplied vaccines to more than 120 countries and regions as the world's largest provider. In 2021, China and Russia have continued to deepen their comprehensive strategic partnership. Their biggest joint nuclear energy project began in May. In June, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin extended a treaty of good neighborliness and friendly cooperation. The two leaders held a virtual meeting on December 15th. Trade between the two countries has reached a record high. The U.S. and its allies pulled out their troops in Afghanistan in August without effectively containing terrorism. Over America's 20-year occupation, more than 100,000 Afghans were estimated to have been killed or wounded by foreign forces, and tens of millions have become refugees. Afghanistan is now facing a deteriorating security situation, a collapsing economy, and a growing humanitarian crisis. Major economies, including the U.S. and the EU, have seen significant inflation. America's Consumer Price Index rose nearly 7 percent in November from a year earlier, a record high in 39 years. Meanwhile, as of November, China's foreign trade had been increasing for 18 consecutive months. Some analysts say China remains a key contributor to world economic recovery. Growing tensions between Russia and Western countries, fresh sanctions and the extension of old ones against Moscow over so-called human rights issues, Ukraine and the North Stream 2 pipeline project. In April, President Vladimir Putin warned Russia will make a swift and harsh response if the West crosses its red lines. In December, Moscow demanded guarantee from the U.S. and NATO that they would not expand military capabilities in Eastern Europe towards Russia. On January 6th in Washington, a mob of supporters of the then-President Donald Trump attacked the Capitol. They tried to disrupt the presidential transition. Five people died and hundreds of others were injured. It was the first breach of the building since 1814 when British forces tried to attack it. Some analysts say the riots exposed the deficiency and hypocrisy of American democracy. In September, Australia, the UK and the US announced a military partnership called AUKUS. A primary mission is to provide the Australian Navy with nuclear-powered submarines. This triggered concerns and opposition from the international community. Many said it violated the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. And separately, Japan announced to release treated but still contaminated nuclear wastewater into sea. The waters from a power plant in Fukushima, which was crippled by an earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Regional countries opposed the move. Two global conferences were held this year aimed at environmental conservation. The COP15 was held in China in October. The meeting adopted the Kunming Declaration, which calls for action to slow biodiversity loss. In November, COP26 was convened in Glasgow. Participants finalized detailed implementation plans of the Paris Agreement. China and the U.S. signed a joint declaration to combat climate change. A new Olympic model debuted at the Tokyo Summer Olympics. The International Olympic Committee added the word together to the previous version of faster, higher, stronger. The IOC says it's trying to highlight the importance of unity. In December, the United Nations passed the Olympic Truth Resolution ahead of the Beijing Winter Olympic Games. 
Also, the 10th Olympic summit in December said the games and sport should not be politicized.